You want to learn network hacking, but the command line intimidates you? In this video, we will be looking at Zemmap, which is the graphical user interface for the Nmap security scanner. Please help me out by hitting the subscribe button, and round and round we go. Nmap is a de facto tool for network security professionals and hackers, and they use it for network discovery and security auditing. The tool is very powerful, but those features can also be daunting to those who are not used to typing on the command line. Zenmap, on the other hand, is the GUI or graphical user interface for Nmap. But it's not just a pretty face. It also extends the usefulness of Nmap by having the ability to compare scans and allows administrators to easily track new hosts or services appearing on the networks. And then you can also create your own profiles to make it easy to run the exact same scan multiple times. Zenmap is not loaded on Kane 12 by default, but we can manually download the package and install the program. So first thing I'm going to do is download the Zenmap program from https colon slash slash nmap.org slash download.html. Within there, we can search for the Zenmap download. The next step is if you're on a system that doesn't have the alien software, you can go ahead and grab it by doing sudo app-get install of alien. And since we already have it on Kane 12, I don't need to do that. The next thing we're going to do is use the alien tool to convert the RPM into a Debian friendly format. So we're going to do sudo alien zenmap-7 and then hit tab, right? This is the thing that we just downloaded. And then what we get as a result is the Dot deb file out of this. And so now we can go ahead and install this uh, package, this Debian friendly package, by doing sudo dpkg dash dash install zenmap and then hit tab again and get the dot deb file. And once that's done, we are ready to run zenmap. And uh, because zenmap uses nmap, which has some commands that are only accessible to root, we should go ahead and do sudo and then zenmap. And then we'll get the nice graphical user interface. So here is the zenmap interface. And running a scan is quite simple. You basically just type in the target into the target field and then select a profile from this drop down, and then click the scan button. And here in this command field, uh, it displays the nmap command that you've basically built by specifying the target and selecting a profile. So this actually helps you if you are learning how to use nmap and you want to just build some commands real quick. This thing will give you what the options are so you can look those up individually and then run that on the command line. So in this target field, you can type in a machine name like Fedora uh, or an IP number. So for the example, if we just typed in a machine name like Fedora, we're going to leave it as the default profile of intense scan. And then we hit the button. And here you can see that it actually went out and performed an Nmap scan of that target named Fedora. And here underneath the command field, you can see that it uses the dash capital T4 for aggressiveness of level four. It uses the dash capital A for all options, right? So it's going to try to do an operating system detection, a version detection for applications, uh, script scanning, and then trace route. And lastly, a dash V for verbose. So in this example, we're putting in just an IP number. So we're going to do 10.0.2.11. And then for the profile, let's go ahead and switch that to a quick scan. And then as you can see here, the uh, command field, we can see that it's again using the dash capital T4 for aggressiveness. And then it uses dash capital F for the fast mode. So it's going to scan fewer ports than the default scan. That's why I call the quick scan. And let's go ahead and click the scan button. And here you can see the outputs. If you look at the drop down here, you can see that it keeps track of the output of each of the scans uh, that you've performed, and you can choose to look at previous scan results. So let's take a deeper look into the profile drop down. 
So this allows the user to set the kinds of scans and how aggressive you want to be with the scan. The scan option ranges from an intense scan to ping scan to quick scan to a regular scan, all the way down to slow comprehensive scan and then other variants of the above. For the target, I'm going to go ahead and put in 10.0.2.11 and then a space and Fedora. So this is another acceptable way of putting in the targets. You can put in two different targets or multiple targets separated by a space. Let's go ahead and pick the regular scan. And now once we hit scan, it's going to run Nmap with no options because that's the regular scan. And what that essentially does is that it runs a SYN scan with TCP protocols for the 1,000 ports. So these are the default profiles that Zenmap comes with, but you can make your own profile or edit the selected profile by going to the top menu under profile. So I'm going to do another type of targeting. This time I'm going to do 10.2.10-17. .10 so this will basically specify the ranges from .10 through .17. And for profile, I'm going to go ahead and pick the ping scan. And as you can see here in the command buildup, that basically just uses the dash SN option. All right, so once we hit scan, we can see that it's actually going to go ahead and look through the ranges of dot 10 through dot 17 doing a ping scan to those particular machines. The targeting can also use CIDR notation. So we can do 10.0.2.1 slash 24, right, to specify we want the entire class D network. And once again, let's just go ahead and leave it with ping scan. When we hit the scan button, it is going to scan all 256 machines on the 10.0.2 subnet. And lastly, for the targeting, you can use a wildcard. So we can do 10.0.2.star. And um, this is going to do the same thing as what we saw in the prior example, where it's going to scan through all 256 machines on that particular subnet. Let's go ahead and put it on slow comprehensive scans, just so you can see what the command line looks like. It's pretty involved there. And since this is not a tutorial on Nmap, I'm not going to read through all of that. You can see that on a separate video. And we can hit scan and watch it run in the background. If you look at the left-hand side of the ZenMap application, you see that there is the Hosts and Services buttons. The Host button will list out all of the hosts that you have scanned. You may notice an icon next to the name slash IP of a machine, and that indicates the operating system if ZenMap can figure it out. And then once you have selected a specific host, you can click the Port slash Host tab on the right-hand side, and you can see the open ports of that selected host. You can also click on the host details tab and you will get the information on the number of open ports, the number of filter ports, closed ports, scan ports, etc. Also available are the IP and MAC addresses. So here if we click on the host name Fedora, we can see it has more specific operating system information. If we click on the services tab, you can see all of the services seen on the scans. If you click on each service, it will show you which host was running that service. Once you have run a scan and you want to save it for later analysis or for archival purposes, you can just go to the scan menu and then select the save scan or just use control S to save. And if there is more than one scan performed, the program will ask you which one you want to save. Then you present it with a dialog window that lets you choose the path and name of the file you want to save. For the file type, you can choose by extension, which is either the Nmap XML format or the Nmap text format. The thing to note is that the XML format is the only format that can be opened again by Nmap, so probably better choice than the, the text format. The other save option in the scan menu is to save all scans to directory. And that allows you to save all of the scans you've performed in that session. And you'll be asked to select a directory to save that into. Make sure you don't select the folder that already has other saved scans. Otherwise, you'll get an error. You can create an empty directory using the Create Folder button on the upper right. And then hit Save. And all the scans will be saved in the XML format. 
You can always open a saved scan by using the open scan option from the scan menu. One of the useful features of ZenMap is the ability to compare results from running the same scan from different times. The situation could be that you want your system to run a specific scan daily and then compare the results to see if there are any changes to your network. So to view the comparisons, go to the Tools menu, then click on Compare Results. The pop-up panel will then ask you to select the A scan and B scan. And each scan can be a scan that has been run with ZenMap recently and still in the system through this uh, drop-down bar. Or you can uh, load in a save scan from before. So let's go ahead and load the two scans that we had done before and saved. So we're going to select this one here and then this one here. So once you've loaded the second scan file, the program will automatically run and compare the two scans. And the output is color coded so that you can tell what the differences are. So we see here that the first line of the two files differ. And just taking a quick look, we can tell that the, the because the date and times are different. So that makes sense because we ran them on separate occasions. And then we can scroll down to take a look at the other differences. And so in our case, the only other difference is that in the second scan, there is a new machine named Fedora that popped up and it has these various open ports. So in your network, seeing new machines pop up is definitely of interest. And then seeing new ports open up on machines are also items of interest you might want to look at. So this makes the uh, comparison here very, very useful. So another feature that's interesting is the topology. And you can click here on the topology tab. And this map is kind of a fun graphical representation of the network that you've scanned. Once you click into the tab, you can see the map of all the machines that you have scanned. You can click on any of the nodes or machines to make that the center of the network map. And we can bring up the control panel right here where you can control the zooming size and then the rain gap size to make it easier to see your network. Mine is very simplified, so not, not much to see here. Another thing that's of interest is bringing up the legend. It tells you that there is a certain color scheme for the different nodes. So if they are red, that means there are six or more open ports, which may be something of interest. You know, you can, you can see pretty quickly. Nodes that are yellow denote three to six open ports. And then things that are green have less than three. And here we see that we also have machines that have filter ports as opposed to just open or closed ports. We also see that in the legend, it tells us that NMAP can pick out routers, switches, wireless access points, and firewalls. So by using ZenMap, you can quickly build up different profiles and NMAP commands to run. You also have a graphical topology map, the ability to save scans, and the ability to compare scans, which could all prove to be useful for you. If you're interested in learning more about networking, watch these videos here. For more videos on the Kane Forensics Distro, Make sure you watch these videos here. Make sure you click on the blue monkey to subscribe. Thanks for your time and happy hunting.